You yeah. gonna love him. This guy performs all over the place. He's super fucking funny. Give it up for my main man, John Brickley. Oh, shit! Shuts, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we doing good? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> a little too much, maybe a little. Oh man, I love my dad, but I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm gay. <laughs> the other day he gave me a pep talk. He's like, John, I am so proud of you. You moved to LA, you're doing amazing things with your life. I just want the best for you. I want you to do good at shows. I want you to sell out clubs. I want you to find a nice guy or girl to make you happy. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Dad. But I'm not gay. And he goes, John, I just want to let you know, even if you are, I'm okay with that. So motherfucker wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> but it leads me to believe that at one point in time in my dad's life, he said to himself, my son might like dicks. <laughs> I'm okay with that, but I want to know when was the time. Was it when I stopped playing football and pursued my passion of theater? <laughs> was it when I started wearing skinny jeans? Possibly. Or maybe it was that time I won that hot dog eating contest? <laughs> At that gay bar? <laughs> I'm not gay, okay? All right, I'm a ladies' man, ladies, hello. I've been a ladies' man since day one. When I was a little kid, my brothers used to call me a ladies' man, but they said it a little bit differently. They called me a lady boy. <laughs> I mean, that's the same thing, right? Uh, I, I don't know, I just, I, don't, I love women so much. Ladies, will you do me a favor? Will you make some noise? Now, ladies, I want to go home with this guy tonight. Make some noise. Not the appropriate. <laughs> but, uh, ladies, on behalf of large men everywhere, have sex with us. <laughs> Listen, it's proven that large men last longer in bed. I mean, we have to stop every five minutes for a Gatorade break. <laughs> but who doesn't like watch your legs, right? True. Yeah, thank you. Has anybody ever had relations with a larger person before? Yeah. All right, so just like one person saying yeah, and a bunch of liars over here. Yeah, I know, I know, you're, I know, I'm your drunk mistake, okay? Um, I'm gonna let you in know on a little secret though. If you're gonna have sex with a guy my stature, you're gonna want me on top. Because trust me when I say this, you don't want this shit on top of you. First of all, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be sweaty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be like Florida down there. That's what I'm trying to do. Alligators and all. It's hot and sweaty. My arms are gonna be shaking. I'm gonna be asking questions like, can you breathe? I got my under hair. Are you awake? Or reverse cowgirl. Because I'm going to get winded if we do a doggy style. <laughs> Might look a little bit like this. <sighs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Just shut up. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Just pass me the air in and just a little bit. Uh, well, I'm single. <laughs> to make myself like socially viable for the women. Yeah, no, I do, I do, I swear to God. Uh, I go to the gym. Fuck you guys, I go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lost 30 pounds since February. I feel good about it. Like, I threw up a lot, but that's... <laughs> no, I was at the gym the other day and I got a notification 
on my phone, letting me know that there's an IHOP around the corner. <laughs> like that's Google basically saying, fuck this whole working out thing. Let's go get some pancakes. <laughs> I hate being the big guy at the gym because you're always the only one there. Uh, you never see two big guys at the gym, okay? It's like a statistical anomaly. All right. You ever see two big guys at the gym? It's like a Sasquatch fucking a unicorn. Which does not happen. However, sometimes it starts with a line. You'll see two fat people at the gym, and it's not like you're fat, I'm fat. Let's get skinny together. Nothing like that. It's like you see that guy, and you think to yourself, "Today is the day that I'm not going to be the fattest motherfucker." At the gym. <laughs> so you start working out hardcore, and he sees you do that. He's like, "Oh, motherfucker, this ain't happening." <laughs> Now I'm going a million miles on the elliptical, and he's treading ass on the stairmaster. The lights are flickering because the power's still flushed. So <laughs> then you move on to the fucking, uh, was it weightlifting? I'm squatting a car. This motherfucker's racing a horse. The entire place is shaking. <laughs> you move on to plyometrics. That guy's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I feel good about myself. So I get in my car and I drive over to IHOP. <laughs> I walk through those doors, and I see that fat motherfucker. <laughs> Eat my goddamn pig. <laughs> I'm just saying this whole being fat thing is a vicious cycle. <laughs> uh, man, ladies like guys with facial hair, all right? Like, you have like the five o'clock shadow thing, you're crushing the puss, I can tell. <laughs> You clean shaven. <laughs> I, I try to grow a beard, everything grows in except right here. I end up looking like fat Wolverine. <laughs> my superpower, I get a fork and knife and a spoon come out of my fist. I harass the motherfuckers at Golden Corral, like, are you gonna finish that bow? <laughs> I was in Silver Lake the other day. Somebody yelled at me from across the street. They called me a hipster Sasquatch. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, guys, you've never seen me walk uphill, so. <laughs> what sucks is that if I shave, I just, I just look exactly like a lesbian. <laughs> around Halloween and somebody's like, this is a great costume. I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, your chest bono, right? You know what sucks is that I crush more puss as a lesbian than I do in the street now. Party foul, bro. I know this because I haven't had regular sex in the past five years and just been scissoring that entire time. <laughs> 